Here's a CT case of acute pyelonephritis. This is a urogram protocol. So we begin with a non-contrast CT of the abdomen and pelvis. The patient had right flank pain, so they were worried about a kidney stone. Don't see anything here in the kidneys. You'd expect a kidney stone to be radiodense. Don't see anything like that. And so we got the urogram images. For these, we give two different boluses of contrast. and We image once. And so the contrast we gave at first has made it to the collecting system. And the contrast we gave at the second time point is enhancing the kidneys. We're able to evaluate both of those structures at once. Here's a relatively normal enhancement pattern of the left kidney. You can see it's relatively homogeneous. Compare that to the right kidney. There are some areas of hypo enhancement. Here's another one. There's another one. They extend all the way out to the renal capsule. Even if we go to the inferior pole, here's one. That's a typical look for acute pyelonephritis. What this represents are these areas of infection and edema within the kidney. We also have some fat stranding surrounding the kidney. So anytime we have infection or inflammation in the body, often you'll see this inflammatory stranding in the adjacent fat. So this is a pretty typical look. Notice we didn't really see anything on the non-contrast CT. A little bit of that fat stranding was there if you take a look, but you really need that contrast to be able to see pyelonephritis. That being said, CT is not perfectly sensitive for acute pyelonephritis. It's really a clinical diagnosis, and often patient with pyelonephritis, we won't see anything on CT. But sometimes we see it as an incidental finding. And CT can also be useful in cases of complicated pyelonephritis, such as patients with kidney stones or immunocompromised. Take home points for this case are that acute pyelonephritis is a clinical diagnosis. That's because CT has a relatively poor sensitivity but may show wedge-shaped areas of parenchymal hypoenhancement. Imaging may be helpful, however, in cases of complicated pyelonephritis. These include patients with a history of stones, immunocompromised, or with persistent symptoms despite antibiotics.